I'm Katie Clancy, Chief House Hawker for the Cape House at William Ravis. And I'm Sarah Lapsley Martin of T. Martin Lapsley at Kinley Grover Real Estate. And this is What's Good Cape Cod, where we show you the Cape through the eyes of a couple of locals. Every week we tell you about a person, a place, and a thing that we think you should know about. This week we talk about a true Cape Cod rock star, a next level pizza place, and a cool new way to experience the outdoors on the Outer Cape. All right, so let's get right to it. So let's talk about our person this week. So the rock star person this week is Sarah Swain. One, two, three, four. There's a lot of ways to know Sarah. Um, I think the first way I met her was um, when she, in her band, Sarah Swain and the Oh Boys. to actually retire last year didn't happen she, she had this big swan song nope still playing um but then i saw i went to the cape, cape cod women's music festival that she runs and um i realized first of all it was amazing she's trying to like bring all these uh woman musicians out in the limelight really trying to get especially amazing. local people you know, yeah. out there to, in the in the music world, but also the funds were going to uh, Cape Wellness Collaborative, which I didn't know anything about until the, I went to the music festival, and then I was like, Pugh. Cape Wellness, we've talked about before, I think, on the show. Cape Wellness Collaborative is an organization that pr um, helps in the short, you know, the punchline is helps Cape Codders with cancer feel better by giving them access to adjunct therapies that are not, they, that insurance typically doesn't pay for. So they've got right. practitioners in like massage, yoga, chiropractor, all that stuff that um, people use and it's awesome. So she is, so she started that and she's literally a rock star and her whole family's famous. Her kids, they sailed, uh, last year sailed up and down the East Coast and they started the whole um, ocean plastics awareness thing. Her two wow. daughters and her husband is Steve Swain of the, the metal artist at Frying Pan Gallery, which if you've ever seen any of those little metal fish sculptures, yeah. they're all over restaurants on the Cape. Oh. And actually the, um, the pull handles at Cape Cod Beer, he designed. And that's her so, husband. Wow. That's her husband. Yeah. So they're like, Woo, super famous. But anyway, Sarah is just, she's just got a heart of gold and she knows how to use it. She is really a person you need to know on Cape Cod. And to go see and watch her play. Absolutely. You cannot sit still. It's like rockabilly. You, you yep. can't sit still when they are playing. It is so much fun. So our place this week is Pizza Barbone in Hyannis on Main Street, one of my favorite places. Um, the owners are Jason and Ali O'Toole and their little son Clark, who will I'm sure be working there someday soon. <laughs> He's only two now, but <laughs> we've got a little while. Yeah. Um, so one of the really cool things about this pizza place, there's a lot. So one of the really cool things is that their pizza oven, when you go in, it's just, it's a true work of art. It was handmade and actually shipped here from Naples, Italy, and it's covered in little like hand painted glass tiles. Um, and if you've seen it, it just, it just kind of glows in the restaurant. It, it's, it's a true work of art. Um, so that, that's a really cool thing. Another amazing thing is that Pizza Barbone, you know, they're, they're on Main Street in Hyannis. They don't really have much garden area, but they've created a rooftop garden on their, on their, um, on their patio upstairs. So they have, I think it's like eight beds, they're self-watering containers. So they have like tomatoes, beets, carrots, onions, and whatever it is that they grow up on their roof, they actually are bringing it down and plating it for the customers. So I mean, it's <laughs> roof to table, right? Up yeah, there. right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Arm to table, but actually roof to table. Um, and they are just, they do such an amazing job. Now they have catering that they're doing. So they have a catering truck um, they have a huge like portable wood fire pizza oven 
and they have a, a mobile bar cart too, which is, they're just so adorable as well. Um, so they're really trying to get, you know, they're doing a lot of catering, whether it's small backyard parties, um, which they're really doing now, they're doing like these micro catering events. So it's if under 20 people, you know, to try to work through this pandemic, um, well, eventually get back to weddings and, you know, bigger. No, well, so I actually want to tell you, my friend yeah. got married last month, you know, during the this whole a small show. wedding. Did yeah. a teeny tiny wedding at the church, yeah. and then Pizza Barbon came to her parents' house, and they had their teeny tiny wedding party. That's all she wanted too. Was funny. even before COVID, she's like, "All yeah. I want is Pizza Barbon at my wedding." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and she got it. I mean, that's a yeah. good thing to want. It's it's truly amazing, and they're just such a you know a sweet family. And they actually last year when I went to, they had a pizza making class. So you actually went in. Um, you went in. You. They taught you how to make pizza. So you literally like, they gave you the recipe, you made the dough, you rolled it and everything. And we made pizza there. And then we got to take home the pizza and we got to take home dough and the recipe. So oh. I'm sure at some point they'll be starting the classes up again, but it was just such a, a great experience to go in. We had wine and appetizers and then made these pizzas. I family. just love that they're, they're just forward thinking, they're innovating and you know, they're just, they're adapting and rolling with things all the time, no matter what's going on. And that's okay. why they're successful. Also yeah. their pizza. My favorite. really good. Yeah, get the pistachio. pistachio pesto, yeah. obviously my favorite. Yeah, so good. Yeah, so everyone oh, get in there, visit them and try out. I mean, and even their salads because you know, like I said, things are coming from the roof. So it's really fresh. Oh, this is exciting. You guys yes. Our thing this week. So every once in a while down the Cape sends us somewhere to go do something amazing and then come tell you guys about it. And this time we were sent on a tour of, uh, with, with Logan can I tours and we went out on in, on the national seashore. Sarah, why don't you tell us a little bit about what we did? Tell everybody. It was amazing. So our tour guide and, um, and he owns the company is Sean. He truly is someone who just loves nature and loves showing people places that he loves. So we were at the National Seashore and our walk ended actually, or went through um, Coast Guard Beach. So we started out, it was it was something that everyone could do because we just did, we did an hour walking tour. He does more intense tours that you can do really intense, but this was nice. We had Katie's daughter there and, and it was fun. So we walked through, you walk through the forest, then you'd come out and there would be just the gorgeous ocean. The views were the over the top. Marsh, right? we went through like three different ecosystems. Yeah, the forest, right? yeah, the forest, the marsh, and then to get out to the beach and just see the rolling waves come in. And the seals, we saw seals. Yes, we that were was... a little worried about seeing a shark after that, but <laughs> we didn't get to see the seals. I was kind of hoping. Really cool. yeah. <laughs> and it was it was really cool. And so we got to talk to Sean and get to know him a little bit more too. And um, he the passion that he has for this is pretty intense. And he he does he has a whole other aspect of it that we didn't get to experience with breath work and mobility. So. Mm -hmm. This, I thought, would be a real great connect for athletes who are traveling, yoginis who are traveling, who are like, I want to go really connect with where I'm traveling. So right. like, I work out at the CrossFit gym and I love that and we had a lot of visitors. I think this would be an amazing thing for those athletes to come. You're going to work out hard, you're going to play hard. But like, what did you say, Sarah, what was it that you heard him say? So one of the quotes that I wrote down that he said that I really liked was, starting the day or ending the day with this, it's just goodness. And I really liked that. Yeah. And, and he has these early morning tours. We really can just go out and just. Get yeah. It. The other thing is, is that it's truly, you know, custom tailored. So it could be a, a group or an individual. And, and that's the thing. It can be intense or it can be a laid back with real breath work on, on the beach. So I think that's the other thing is whatever you're looking for, he can, you know, he can work around that. And truly, yes, he had mentioned he'd taken experience a photographer out um, yeah. for a dune shack tour, and that was a whole different experience. And he was saying he got to see it, you know, from their perspective. Anyway, highly recommend that you guys go check out Logan Can I. That and I, I will absolutely do this again and bring friends. Um, it's very very cool experience. Agreed. Highly recommend. We loved it. So that's it for this week. But if you keep watching us before long, you'll know Cape Cod like we know Cape Cod.